When we think about biodiversity, we often imagine big animals in a place that's far away, like sharks swimming in the ocean. But what if we instead pause for a second and take a look at our very own marine backyards? My name is Dr. Simon Brandel. I'm a marine biologist for the Smithsonian Institution, and I study little fish and invertebrates that live on dock pilings. Dock pilings are a true testament of human presence on the world's coastline, but we rarely think of them as a viable habitat for marine animals. Amazingly though, we're finding that they are in fact teeming with life. Here in Belize, we're finding a truly surprising diversity of little fish and invertebrates, even on just a single pile. Sometimes it just takes a very close look. Most of the animals living on dock pilings are less than an inch long, which makes it incredibly difficult to spot them among the dense jungle of corals, algae and sponges that live on dock pilings. In fact, some even cover themselves with sponges in order to prevent being detected. That's why I've coined the term cryptodiversity to describe these assemblages. They're there, right in our backyards, but unless we make a dedicated effort, we have next to no chance of noticing them. Of course, this raises the question, is there any way in which we can make a reliable assessment of what lives on dock pilings? It turns out we sure can. By using a big net, wrapping it around a pile, then covering it with a tarp and using an anesthetic called clove oil, we can actually capture all mobile animals living in or around a piling and get a true assessment of the biodiversity or cryptodiversity of dock pilings. Now that we know that these pilings are full of life, we can use them as miniature ecosystems to study all sorts of facets of biodiversity. We can do this anywhere dock pilings exist, which is basically anywhere in the world where humans have ever settled on the coast. Will more diverse pilings be better able to buffer the effects of habitat loss than species poor docks? Or are more diverse pilings even more susceptible to habitat destruction? And what is the rate of recovery from habitat loss across latitudes? If we scale these questions up to entire ecosystems such as coral reefs or seagrass beds, it becomes clear that these are some of the most pressing questions of our time. We are currently losing marine coastal habitat at unprecedented rates due to human disturbances such as climate change, pollution or fishing and it is vital that we understand the effects of these losses. The cryptodiversity of dock pilings will bring us one step closer to understanding some of the changes happening in our world and help us conserve coastal marine ecosystems for future generations. <laughs>